happen to see the uh, sky explode into colour. Obviously better in this direction. I just came out the back door the, uh, to get the washing in, funnily enough. Yes, I am semi-domesticated. And this, this cl these clouds here were absolutely lit up like fire. So, <gasps> right, must grab the camera. And I thought, hold on a minute. I've got a series of, or oh, I'm considering doing a series of where I've taken various various Im images that I've made in the past, give you an actual look of the actual location. I'll, I'll do that, so of course by the time I've got everything pulled together, grabbed my camera back, got this camera out, got the microphone set up here, so you can actually hear us, then uh, that colour is now pretty much away. This is the location of my Lost series, which I may, you know, started making, what, four years ago. Redid a few of the images last year, up and did updated versions. And I was out a couple of weeks ago to capture data uh, for having another go this year. But they haven't quite come out. But when I saw the sky light up like fire, I thought, hey, here we go, we're going to get something good tonight, and it's fizzled. So, so I just wanted to sh wanted to show you the, the actual locations where I shot these. I'll put up the uh, the images I'm talking about in a second. really just to show you that even the most inconsequential landscapes can be altered using ICM and multiple exposures and you know fairly excessive processing all the all of all of those can be put together to make completely new scenes uh, new new abstracts um, I've got I've had several images from out here and this is actually our field um, which at the minute is divided into a few paddock, paddocks but this is at the back of my house so it's nice and handy so it just shows that yeah, yeah alright not everybody lives in the middle of middle of the countryside but there's opportunities out there to make abstract photography wherever you're living you know whether you're on the prairies of Wyoming or the built up areas of of London or you know whatever there's, there's opportunities to make abstract images and and so get out there and have a go at your own patch Cam give your camera a shake and you never know what you might get it might be something really really unique and uh, it could be life-changing to you because uh, discovering ICM for me definitely made made a huge difference to, m to my work and my outlook on photography you buff buff all hand I was very much stuck in the traditional type of uh, landscape photography of but you know with a good bit of edit, editing within it I've, I've always liked to play with photoshop and that kind of thing but i, I was very much a case I, I knew what my limit limitations were and i just didn't really want to travel that very that far to, to make images and i also was never really that great at you know you you Joe Cornish style of compositions and things like that. Um, you know, really thinking about foregrounds and and backgrounds and positioning and things like that. It just never really sat right with us. Oh, well, I found it difficult, so there's no point. You know, skirting around that point, I did find it difficult. So, so now I create my compositions, which uh, to make yourself a lot easier, and also means I don't have to tra travel very far. So I basically walked 30 yards from my back door to here so there 
So yeah, I've missed the chance to actually make any sh make any shots tonight. So I'll I think tomorrow night I'll be keeping an eye out the back door just to just to see if the sky does kick off again tomorrow night because I would really like to have another go at this with a full bl full blown sunset and all that fiery colour which was there when I was getting the bloody washing in. So yeah, that's that. Just as a quick reminder that I am selling my Analog Effects Pro 2 presets, which I use for all my images. Um, they're now available through my website. Um, there'll be a link down below as well. So if you're interested in giving ICM photography a go, making abstract photography, I can thoroughly recommend these presets to really give, give yourself a good starting point in your editing process to make your own unique work. If you do buy them and make your own work from them, please do tag me in. Um, I'd love to be able, I'd love to see what you're what you're all making out there using them. So until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye. I'm Andy Gray, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram on at Andrew S. Gray. And visit my website, andrewsgray.photography.